What up, though, Heist Man the Foe? Superheroes with African origins. That's what I'm going to call this because I seen this movie yesterday called Hidden Colors. And in this movie, they was talking about superheroes and comic book characters that has black origins in them. And I thought it was kind of interesting. So let's, let's dive into this a little bit. For starters, we have Professor X and Magneto. They say these two gentlemen right here is like Malcolm and Martin for the simple fact that by any means necessary and non-violence, non-violence. And that's what they was kind of like. Um, the mutants was like black people. Didn't nobody like them. And people were shunning themselves away from them. And Professor X, what he wanted to do, you know, was the, the non-violent way. He wanted a, you know, revolution. That's what they wanted. They both wanted a revolution, but Malcolm and Martin wanted a different. Magneto was the one that was doing all the violence and this kill them all. So that's what he was doing. So when I heard that story, I was like, man, that's kind of interesting. I never thought about that. That was pretty cool, though, that um, if you think about it. If you know anything about Malcolm and Martin, and you know Magneto and um, Professor X, they kind of like the same. And, the, and what they was fighting for was the same thing as, you know, black people. And how we was treated in the 70s, 80s, 90s, yesterday, still to this day. I think that's pretty dope. So big shout out to Professor X and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Not Muhammad Ali. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. That's, that's just one little thing. Another one was Thor. Yeah, Thor. Thor comes from this dude right here called Chango. He's an African god named Chango. His, he had a hammer and he had lightning also. And they stole it and made it into a white man and made him Thor. So Chango comes from for Thor, the god of lightning and the hammer. It looked like an axe, but it's a hammer. The white man stole that. Wolverine. I thought this was kind of interesting too. Wolverine comes from this dude right here called Ogun. Ogun, let me see this. Um, he is the god of metal and iron. And that's what Wolverine's derived from. Metal and iron. That's hey, I can't make this up, man. That's what I'm saying. If you know anything about um ancient warriors, African warriors, that's what it was. And to top that all off, Wolverine's master name was Ogun. The one who trained Wolverine. I don't know, maybe that's a reach. But hey, that, it kind of adds up. So Wolverine. You black too. Who else, man? I got somebody else I want to see. I see though, goon. Who is this? Superman. I thought this was kind of interesting too. Superman come from Ra, the sun god. Or, you know, Superman has a deity on his planet called Raul or Raul. But Superman, the um, god, you know, that's where Superman get his powers from. Superman's symbol is a S. But I heard it was really a pyramid. Upside down pyramid. That's what that's about. Mm. What what does it say about Superman? I got some notes right here. Um, Kalel is Superman real name. That is a Hebrew name. He gets his power from the sun. So hey, think about that. If you f get your power from the sun, I mean you got to be tan. You got to be black. Maybe just me. I don't know, but Superman black. I think he black Superman. Who else? Oh, Wonder Woman. Now, this one's kind of tricky. It got a whole history between this one with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was made by this dude right here. He's like Professor Marston. But where he got the story from, he got it from the Le Monde Illustrated. It's a French book or a French um, newspaper. But that's where he got it from. And they had in this article he read on there, it was about these women right here. These African, what they call Amazon. They call it the homie. It's a, it's a funny name, but it's called the Homie, the Homie Amazons. That's where they got their name from. That's what um, what's the girl name? Wonder Woman got her name from, from them, because um, the Homie, these um, what are these females at right here? The Amazonian warriors, the Homie, they defeated some French dudes one time, and when the French dudes went back, they were so ashamed they told everybody like, look. We got beat up by some Amazon, some 10 foot tall women. But what it really was, is, was these women right here, the, the homie Amazons, they was highly trained. So that's where it come from. Somebody stole it. They stole that too, man. So Wonder Woman is her origins from a black woman or a black tribe, the the, the homie tribe. I, there's so many jokes I can make about this. That's the homie. That's the homies, you know, but they defeated the um the French, Rev not the French Revolution, but they defeated some French dudes 
when the French dudes came over there to Africa and the Dahomey tribe whooped them and they went back and lied. They, you know, they couldn't say nothing. They're like, hey, man, we got beat, man. They were 10 foot tall. They tried to, you know, try to clean it up for them. And that dude, he saw that. He said, hey, I'm going to turn this into Wonder Woman. So, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a reach. Maybe y'all ain't going to believe me or not. But I got a little bit of something to make you just look that way and think about it, man. So, I got to figure out which other um, superheroes are black, too. They can't take everything from us, man. I see. Anyway, I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all got to come through and highlight me, man. I talk about way more different stuff than this. This was like a passion project. I'd have seen this. I thought I'd to talk about it and share it with you people. You people? No, not you people. Anyway, like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and how I let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.